The 2007 to 2008 Acura TL Type S. The Type S is obviously that performance variant and it is a very sought after car, especially in the used market, huge following for this vehicle and for good reason. So I'm gonna go through some of the interesting facts in this video regarding the TL Type S. And yes, this car was only available for two model years. It was introduced for the 07 and in 08, the car was produced. However, no new changes were made for the 2008 Acura TL or the Type S. In 2007, when the car was first released, the Type S started at $38,125. And the car was available in either the six-speed manual transmission version or the five-speed automatic. Today, if you wanted to purchase an 07 to 08 TL, I think there's like 170 available across the United States. And once you filter out all the clapped out ones, there's maybe 100. And if you want a Type S in particular, like what we're talking about, I think there's only like eight in the entire country. That's not completely destroyed destroyed or ruined and that's going to run you between 14 to $20,000. But let's go into what makes the Type S special. So obviously this car builds upon the regular TL and just to give you some context, the regular 04 to 08 TL is more capable and has better performance than the previous generation TL Type S, the one from 2002 slash three. And now we're talking about the Type S which builds upon the 04 to 08 TL even further. And one of the biggest changes and highlight here is the new engine. So we have a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated VTEC V6 engine producing 286 horsepower and 256 pounds feet of torque. And as I mentioned before, the car came with either a six speed manual or the five speed automatic. And I have actually driven the Type S and I've also driven a regular TL as well and there is indeed a difference between the two. The Type S is noticeably sharper, but let's continue here with the video. The Type S, it's not just about more power, it's also got several other changes, especially with the suspension. And the overall exterior gets revised. We also get new wheels as well, which many people do like, myself included. However, even the regular TL, in my opinion, still looks really good. I do like that simplistic, elegant look that the regular TL has, but this sharp, sporty look of the Type S, that's also to be appreciated. We also had the excellent eight speaker, 220 watt ELS surround sound system as well with the six disc CD player. And Acura at this time, they would refer to their sedan as the near luxury segment, which I thought was kind of funny, but makes sense because this car was meant to compete with things like the Lexus IS 350, of course, but also it competed with both the BMW 3 Series and the 5 Series, kind of both at the same time, as well as like a C-Class and an E-Class. And the reason for that is because the car is priced more like a 3 Series, but because it's front wheel drive, it offers a little bit more space. So I always appreciated the value proposition of the Acura products. And let's continue here. The Type S got the all new five speed automatic transmission with that sequential sport shift or the paddle shifters, if you will. And this transmission, it was similar to the RL luxury sedan five speed. However, this two wheel drive version features thicker and larger gears than the previous automatic for increased torque capacity. It is also more compact than the previous five speed automatic as well. But this applies for both the TL and the TL Type S. This is just something that for the 2007 model year, the TLs just got a more beefed up five speed automatic based upon the RL. However, the difference is for the Type S, we have a more aggressive tuning of this transmission. This is true. I've tested this. The five speed does have a more aggressive shift programming compared to the regular TL and it does do a pretty good job of rev match downshifts with the paddles. It is very satisfactory, definitely an improvement over a regular TL for sure. But of course you can get this car with the six speed manual transmission. I've never tried the manual with any of the TL vehicles because hardly anybody bought them. So there's hardly any available in the used car market. 
But the thing that's interesting about the six speed manual is with the regular TLs from 04 to 06, the six speed manual transmission was treated as like a sport model, if you will. When you got the manual with the regular TLs in the past, you got the upgraded four piston Brembo brakes, you got the helical limited slip differential. That's what the six speed manual got you in the past, but now all of those things are pretty much reserved exclusively for the Type S model. So now it's the Type S that gets the high performance four piston Brembo brakes. These brakes are 12.2 inches in diameter in the front and the regular TLs, they just got a regular one piston 11.8 inch brake caliber in the front. And for the rear, the brakes are one piston for both the regular TL and the Type S model. Now, I mentioned that that automatic transmission is based upon the RL for this 07 to 08 TL and TL Type S. However, you should also know the three and a half liter V6 engine in this Type S, it's actually based upon the Acura RL as well. But once again, with further refinements and improvements to make this a more performance-based engine. So we have additional weight savings techniques being used here with this engine, like using magnesium and also using hollow camshafts to save that weight. And certainly these naturally aspirated V6 engines, it's a gem and a huge highlight with these Acura products. The Type S also got a bespoke exhaust as well. And this exhaust system had a 14% better flow than the regular TL with the larger pipes and the quad tips in the back, which looked really nice. And yes, there is a more aggressive sound to the Type S. It's pretty subtle, but it is noticeable. It is a little bit louder and a little bit nicer than a regular TL for sure. The six-speed manual transmission, it was similar to the regular TL six-speed manuals. Uh, however, for the Type S, we actually have a different bell housing to mate properly with the three and a half liter V6 engine. And when you do get that six speed manual transmission, the TL Type S will come with that limited slip differential as well. And this is going to help control that understeer and improve the traction during acceleration. But as I mentioned, I know the struggle of finding a manual transmission version of the TL, not just the Type S, just in general. So I've tried the five speed automatic. I'm very satisfied with the performance of it, especially with the Type S. It is sharper, it is better. I don't mind it. If you like this car, I think you'll be happy with the five-speed auto. But just so you know, there are definitely issues with these Honda Acura transmissions in the early 2000s with both the manual and with the automatics. But I'm assuming if you're shopping for this car, you probably already know about that. So have fun dealing with it. Get a warranty if you can or find a good shop. But I would definitely put some money aside to deal with that transmission. This car was 189.8 inches long total and had a wheelbase of 107.9 inches. Definitely a decent amount of space, both in the front and in the rear and very soft seats as well. And as I'm about to discuss later on, the Type S also comes with unique seats as well. But back to the exterior, the Acura TL in general just has a better coefficient of drag than the Infiniti G35, the Lexus IS350, and the Audi S4. And the Type S with the trunk lid spoiler, it helps to produce lift to promote enhanced high speed stability, if you didn't know. The curb weight of a Type S with the five speed automatic is 3,674 pounds. The six speed manual transmission is 3,559 pounds. So about 120 pounds lighter. But anyway, regarding the handling improvements for the Type S, we had increased damping rates for superior handling. We had the rear spring rates increased a solid front anti-roll bar and a thicker rear anti-roll bar came with the Type S and the damper mount stiffness was increased by 400%. We also had an exclusive master cylinder for enhanced brake feel. Of course, you had the Brembo four piston brakes, as I already mentioned, and they were one piston in the rear. The handling was noticeably better with the Type S compared to a regular TL. It was certainly a lot sharper, but it did ride slightly stiffer so that was another thing i noticed it wasn't offensive it wasn't bad you can still totally daily drive it but that's just one of the things that happened that stiffer suspension definitely allows the type s to handle a lot better in fact actually a lot of people said that they don't like the way the acura tl drives 
Um, they say that it's too soft and too slushy and it's not a proper sports sedan. I've driven both the regular TL and the Type S and honestly I like both. The Type S is noticeably sharper and stiffer but I think the regular car is still fine for a street car for sure. Others have said that they don't like the 60-40 weight distribution of the TL. They say that it's too front heavy but you know again I feel like you would only notice those detriments if you were on like a racetrack or better yet an autocross circuit where you're taking tight turns constantly you're not really driving like that on the street so i think that sonorous engine and the very decent driving dynamics and that organic connected feel that these cars have to offer make it a fantastic daily driver slash street car in my opinion but yes the type s definitely a lot better a lot more buttoned up than a regular TL. And Acura states here that the Type S suspension was retuned and recalibrated for significant performance gains, according to them. Acura also states that although the automatic and the manual transmission versions of the Type S have the same suspension settings, the rear spring rate has been increased by 33% on vehicles equipped with the manual transmission, and it is only 14% on vehicles that came with the 5-speed automatic. So another change there, you know, the manual continues to be the more sportier version of the TL, even for the Type S. We also had revised steering, and this is also true. I like the way the Type S steering loads up a little bit better than the regular TL. That's definitely another noticeable change. I do appreciate that. The Type S will also feature a new aluminum power steering fluid cooler. Both the regular TL and the Type S with their wheel choices, they were both designed to be lightweight, so the car can offer you quicker suspension movement and better ride qualities. Regarding the interior of the Type S, we also see several changes. We have a new three-spoke steering wheel with the paddle shifters for the Type S 5-speed auto. We also have red interior lights and carbon fiber-esque trim throughout the interior that was also available and you had the high performance seats with increased lateral support with the type s logo on it and you had more standard features they gave you the acura navigation system with the voice recognition as standard along with the acura link with the real-time traffic that was also standard plus there was a active noise cancellation feature which i will talk about a little bit later and you of course had the stainless steel sport pedals which I always appreciate. And of course, I mentioned the ELS eight speaker audio system that also came with the TL. But in regard to the active noise cancellation, the 07 Type S did come with this and it was designed to reduce the low frequency exhaust booming in the interior. And this is designed to work whether the audio system is turned on or off. The system utilizes two microphones in the headliner that captures the low-end drivetrain frequencies entering the cabin and then a signal is sent to the active noise cancellation unit hidden in the dash. Acura claims that the exhaust boom is reduced by 17 decibels which is quite a lot and I guess it works because the exhaust does seem pretty tame with the Type S, it's not ridiculous. I suppose it's doing its job and it is there for the Type S. And before we end off, we can cover some more basic specs here for you. The TL in general just came with proper suspension, right? It came with the double wishbone front suspension, the multi-link rear. I mean, the architecture was all there. It was proper. And you combine that with the Type S enhancements, it's just even better. And I guess I can mention this as well. If you got the regular TL during this time, there was something called the A-Spec package. It was pretty much a bunch of dealer accessories that you can purchase for your regular TL with new wheels and additional suspension upgrades. You can either just buy the parts from the Acura dealership, have it installed elsewhere, or you can have the dealership install all of it for you. So that was certainly a thing during that time, but I guess at the time, most people probably just stepped up to the Type S instead. But I just wanted to mention to you, an A-spec version of a regular TL was available, but it's not on the Type S level. And the Type S, it was rated to get 19 MPG in the city, 28 MPG out on the highway. That's with the automatic. The manual transmission got 1 MPG better 
on the highway, got 29 on the highway. And Acura did recommend putting in premium fuel with this vehicle. However, most people make the excuse that, oh, it's just recommended, it's not required. But you know, I'll let you play with that. Um, when the manufacturer recommends something, that's what I usually do. I put the premium fuel in it. And I found this fascinating. Even in 2007, this car came with a fantastic warranty. It had a six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. I just reviewed a 2023 Integra and that car comes with this exact same warranty. So I really appreciate the fact that Acura actually stood by their products, offered you a phenomenal warranty even back then. And the regular warranty was a four year, 50,000 mile warranty that covered the rest of the stuff on the car. But that powertrain warranty, that was definitely solid. And that's everything I wanted to share with you regarding the Type S. If you're an owner of this very rare car, definitely leave your thoughts below. You already got my thoughts on the car. It's definitely noticeably superior to a regular TL. I enjoy driving it. I think it's a fantastic street car. Even with the five-speed automatic transmission, it responds the way I want it to. So I would be happy to rock it. The only thing is, driving an early 2000s car it's definitely not going to be anywhere near as safe as one of the newer cars sold today of course but you do get that excellent organic feel and quality to the drive as well as that naturally aspirated v6 engine so leave your thoughts below thanks again for watching i'll have my next video on the end screen here click on it and i will see you there